Hello everyone, in this video we are going to briefly uh, discuss about male sexual parts development. This is a very basic conceptual lecture. Now, for being a male you need a Y chromosome. In the Y chromosome, we, on the short arm of Y chromosome, we have a SRY region. So this is a Y chromosome, in the short arm we have SRY gene and on the gene we have SOX9 gene that is SOX gene and this will make you the male. If Y chromosome is not there that means it's female but again to be a complete female you need two X chromosome okay now there are three basic layers of embryo development ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm but for male genitalia the two basic part are needed for development that is mesoderm and endoderm Mesoderm makes gonadal ridge and mesonephric duct and endoderm makes urogenital sinus. Again, mesoderm makes two different part, genital ridge or gonadal ridge and mesonephric duct. This gonadal ridge will make gonads, in male it means testis and this duct duct means mesonephric duct or wolfian duct this will make other parts of male reproductive system this urogenital sinus also takes a very good part important part in making of reproductive system in both male and female let's discuss in detail uh, uh, in uh, initially the gonads are of bipotential that means they can develop either into testis or they can go for ovary but if we have a y chromosome and if the genotype if is of male then there is a development of primary sexual cord in this bipotential gonad and this development of primary sexual cord makes this gonad a testis and you can see here this is the cord the transverse section of cord and this is the cortex and this in his, in inner part is a medulla now the medulla grows and the cortex disappears so and that makes the testis gonad in ovary it is not like that the cortex will develop and medulla will disappear but in testis or male gonads the medulla will grow okay now if you see the structure of testis these are the seminiferous tubules the seminiferal tubules which makes the sperm from the tubules sperm will go into this thing this is called rete testis from this rete testis the efferent tubules will take those sperm into the head of epididymis this is the head of epididymis and from the epididymis the sperm will travel to the tail of epididymis this epididymis will further uh, change into vas deferens and this vas deferens goes intra abdominally carrying the sperms so primary sexual cords will differentiate will make seminiferous tubules okay seminiferal tubules this seminiferal tubule at last will anastomose and do rete testes okay now so up to rete testis 
the part will be developed from gonadal ridge so this part up to rated test is gonadal ridge uh, will be responsible for making those seminal tubules and rated test is now let's talk about duct which duct we are talking about the duct will be the mesodermal in origin if we talk about male and female we have two basic ducts there is a lot of confusion in students and newcomers that which are these ducts then remember both of these duct are present in both male and female but one duct become prominent in specific gender okay both ducts are present in both sex if you see these two ducts are mesonephric duct and paramesonephric duct mesonephric duct also called wolfian duct and it is present in male paramesonephric duct also be called mullerian duct and it's present in female so i have a mnemonic which is very easy to remember male wall meso you need to just repeat 10 to 15 times male wall meso male wall meso male means is it is present in male wall means wolfian duct and meso means mesonephric duct so in male we have mesonephric duct mullerian duct are also present in males but they will be inhibited by one particular hormone that is anti mullerian hormone amh which is secreted by sertoli cells so the very basic uniqueness with mullerian duct is what they need to be inhibited if they are not inhibited then they will develop so if amh is not there then the even male have all this uterus fallopian tube which is developed from the mullerian ducts so very basic mullerian ducts needed to be inhibited by amh in males now let's see this mesonephric duct makes what up to rated test is it was developed from the gonadal ridge but from the rated test is now everything will be developed by mesonephric duct like efferent tubules epididymis vas deferens ejaculatory ducts like that if you see the base of the bladder these are the vas deferens at the base of the bladder we are seeing this seminal vesicle it is a specific glands which secretes into vas deferens and makes ejaculatory ducts this ejaculatory duct will open into the prostatic urethra and from there the semen will be travel in the testis so again it's very important testis made by two things seminiferous tubules and and stroma seminiferous tubules have germ cells which will developed into sperms it have special kind of cell that is sertoli cells which supports the growth of sperms which also creates the blood barrier blood testis barrier and will support and secrete the amh so the amh will do what make the uterus uh, sorry will prevent the development of mullerian ducts which is usually present into female and the leading cells are present in the stroma of the testis they secrete testosterone the male sex hormone so this is the basic of male sexual parts thank you